Hi guys, it's your science teacher. In this video, I'm going to go through how uh, distillation works in, in order to separate mixtures. So here I have uh, the distillation setup, um, and I'm using a round bottom flask, uh, which is sitting inside, uh, this is a heater. Uh, and the heater is heating up the mixture that I've got inside here, which is actually ink and water. Now water has a, a lot lower boiling point than ink. So what happens is that water evaporates up uh, and goes down into uh, this tube here. And this tube here is called a Leipzig condenser. And what happens in the condenser is that water that's been evaporated into a gas turns back into a liquid and condenses and then we collect it down here in this beaker. And what we'll do is we'll check back in about 10 to 15 minutes and see whether we've collected any water. But before we do that, I just wanna show how this condenser works. Uh, it's connected up to a tap and the tap is connected here to the bottom end of my Leipzig condenser. So the water travels into my Leipzig condenser at the bottom, travels all the way up, to the top and back round and down. The reason why the water comes in at the bottom and not the top uh, is because of the fact that the water will stay cooler for longer, meaning that the water, if it came in at this end, will not heat up and therefore not act as a very good condensing fluid uh, if it came in at the top. Amazing, so this has been running for now around 10 minutes. And look, you can see all that condensation forming uh, on here, showing that evaporation is definitely taking place. Uh, and you can see in the condensing tube, actually you can see uh, pure water coming down uh, and you can see pure water has definitely formed on the side of there. And if we go all the way down into our beaker, let's have a look, let's see what we've formed in here. Yeah, lovely, some pure water uh, having been formed from this disgusting black mixture of uh, ink and water, we have formed pure water. <laughs> 